In this video, we are going to discuss transposition techniques <coughs> used for converting the plain text into the cipher text. Uh, transposition techniques, uh, as we have previously discussed, uh, that it is a kind of a technique uh, in which uh, the letters are or the alphabets are replaced as well as the positions are also going to be changed. Now, in contemporary, uh, the substitution techniques, uh, because we know that there are two techniques, substitution techniques and the transposition techniques. So in the substitution technique, what we used to do, we are substituting a plain text matter by another plain text, or you can say character by character or by word by word. Uh, so to convert the plain text into a cipher text. Now, transposition technique differs from the substitution techniques in the way that uh, <coughs> they do not simply replace one alphabet by another alphabet, but uh, also perform some kinds of permutation uh, over the plain text. Now, the first method which is used in this transposition technique is the rail fence technique. Of course, it is a uh, name has been given rail fence technique. So, you know, we know that in the railway, we have two tracks which are running parallel. So, rail fence technique is a, is, is a kind of a transposition techniques in which uh, whatever plain text we have available with us, we used to write that plain text in the sequence of the diagonals and then we read the text as a sequence row by row. Now, what we do, we write the plain text uh, of a message as a sequence of diamonds and then uh, we read the plain text uh, written in the step one as a sequence of rows. So, for example, if we have a uh, text message like come home tomorrow, then uh, that come home tomorrow individual characters will be written diagonally so that you can see the picture in which you will be finding that uh, C is written in one and diagonally O is written and then M is written diagonally and E is written and so on. And after writing this in the form of a diagonal, then we try to read the plain text in the sequence of row. How it is being read? It is read as C, M, H, M, T, M, R, O and then we read O, E, O, E, O, O, R, W. So you can, uh, by the analogy that uh, uh, it is a it, it is a kind of a, it is using some kind of railway track. That is why the name has been given well fence technique. <coughs> that we have to arrange the uh, characters of the plain text messages in, in, in a diagonal form and read it in the, uh, in a form of a sequence row by row. So this is a very simple uh, technique called rail fence technique. The second method which is applied in the uh, transposition method is the simple columnar technique in which uh, we used to write the text as a row in the row. One row is filled, then second row is filled, then third row is filled and so on. And then read the text, uh, whatever is written in the form of a row, we read the text in the form of a column. And the resultant is of course the cipher text. So how we, what is the algorithm or what is the method by which simple column technique can be applied on a plain text to convert it into a cipher text. That is the writing the plain text message row by row in a rectangle uh, of a predefined size. Uh, then second one is the read the message column by column. However, it is not in the order of 1, 2, 3. It can be a random order. It may be 2, 3, 1. It may be 3, 2, 1. It may be 1, 3, 2 whatever uh, they are trying to adopt, the sender trying to adopt. And then message that's obtained will all be in a ciphertext mode. Now this is the same example I have taken that uh, come home tomorrow, in which the text is written. We have taken six columns. Simple columnar technique means that uh, we are using columns and these are the simple columns and we try to write the text in the form of a row. So in this column, we have taken six column. It is not necessary that you always take six column. You can take three columns, you can take two columns, you can five column, you can take eight column, depending upon the uh, requirement as well as the uh, 
easiness of the sender and the receiver. So what we used to do, come home tomorrow will be written in the form that C O M E H O M O E T O and this after writing the matter in the in the sequence of a row, we try to read in the form of a uh, column by column. Of course, it is already said that uh, some random order may be suggested. Uh, it not it is not necessary that you always consider it as one, two, three, four, five, six as the sequence of the column. But you can consider here. I have considered four, six, four, six. Yes, uh, we have considered the. Uh, four six one two five three so first of all four is considered so the first character will be e o w six is considered then the character will be o o then one is considered so one is this one c m r then two is considered so two is this one o e r and then five is considered so it is having h and m and three is considered after that that is m t o so that is why the the plain text which is come home tomorrow by applying simple columnar transposition techniques that becomes that becomes e o w o o c m r o v e r h m m t u of course this come home tomorrow is a readable and understandable message but this cipher text is not it is readable but is not understandable so this is the simple columnar technique uh, which is a kind of a transposition technique in which what we have done we have jumbled the characters available in the plain text from one place to another place so that it becomes not readable the third method used in the sim uh, transposition technique is the simple columnar technique with the multiple rounds now in the previous case we have taken only one round we have written the text uh, row by row and read the text column by column and only one round has been taken that is 461 uh, read the column in such a way that it will become 461253 so come home tomorrow will become uh, the cipher text will become eow and so on now now the third method is simple column technique with the multiple rounds. Now in this, uh, the whatever previous method is adopted, is this the same method? Uh, whatever the simple column technique with the multiple rounds, meaning thereby it depends that how many rounds we want to go. In the previous case, we have taken only one round. Now in this case, we can take two rounds, three rounds, four rounds, or five rounds depending upon the requirement. So the algorithm is same. Write the character alphabets in the form of a row by row and read the character uh, column by column with a certain sequence, random order sequence. But uh, if it is two round, if I am considering two round in the simple column technique, so after one round, whatever is the sequence which we are getting in the form of a ciphertext that will become input for the second round. Then we again write the same uh, ciphertext in the form of a uh, row by row. And then again, the, we read the uh, text in the form of column by column. So this is an example which has been taken in which the plain text message is uh, come home tomorrow. In the first uh, round, what we have done, C O M E, it has been written, and the order which has been taken is four, six, one, two, five, three, so that the cipher text will become E O W. So the cipher text will become. this e o w o o m this is the round one now in the case of if i am considering it round two round uh, then in that case this e o w e o w o o c m r this will become the uh, plain text for the second round and then we will write in the same fashion e o w o o c m m m r o e and again then we take the second round in which uh, we are taking the same set of columns see four six one two five three so in the uh, we read it in the form of a column so that it will become o e 
O C H E M M O R M O R W T W O T in round two. Now this is the iteration process. How many rounds you want to go? You want to go for third round. In that case, if we are taking third round also, then in that case for the third round, this will be input. So considering that if it is a first round, the plain text is the input. In case of round two, the cipher text of the round one will be the plain text uh, for the, the input for the second column. So, so second round, and for the third round, whatever is the output of the second round will become the input for the third round. So in this way, this is going to jumble the individual characters as well as alphabets so many times so that uh, the text message will not be a readable and the plain text will be converted into a non-readable form or it is in the form of a ciphertext. The fourth method uh, which is applied in the transposition technique is the Varnam cipher. Varnam cipher is also called one time pad and it uses a random set of non-repeating input characters as the ciphertext. Uh, whatever uh, one time pad is being used at a time, it is uh, not used uh, again for the next level. So how this one num cipher used to work? Uh, in this particular case, each plain text alphabet is considered in the form of a number in the increasing sequence that is a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 2, d is equal to 3 and so on and z is equal to 25. And do the same uh, for each character of the input ciphertext. Now what we used to do, we add each number corresponding to the plain text alphabet to the corresponding input ciphertext alphabet number. Now if the sum is going to be produced more than 26, we have to take the mod or you can subtract 26 from it and then we translate each number of the sum back to the corresponding alphabet and this will give the cipher text. Now how it is possible? It is an example. Suppose the plain text is how are you? So how are you is being converted. Each character of the how are you is being converted into a, into the decimal form that is h is equal to 7. Similarly as a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1, c is equal to 2 and z is equal to 25. So h will be 7, o is equal to 14. And then one time pad which is used which is a random number n, c, b, t, z, q, a, r, x. This is one time pad. And then what we have done, we have added 7 and 13, we have added 14 and 2, we have added 22 and 1 and so on. So what is the meaning of one time pad? It is the one, point, one time pad which is known to the sender as well as the receiver because whenever in the case of a sender we are uh, using a one time pad, the same one time pad will be used for the decryption process also. So the uh, result which we are getting is like this. It may be possible whenever you are adding two different numbers, it may be possible that the resultant will be more than 26 such as this 42, 31 and then 43. What do we do for that? Because we don't have any alphabet regarding 42, 43 or uh, 31. So what we'll do is we'll subtract 26 from that. After subtracting 23, 26 from that, we will be getting 16, we will be getting 5 and we will be getting 17. So, so uh, after uh, the, the, after adding one time pad into the plain text, the result first result first character result is 20. 20 is equal to u. 16 is q. 23 is x. 19 is t. And 16 is q. 20 is u, and so on. So the original uh, the original plain text was how are you? Which after applying the Vernam cipher using one time pad as ncbt we are getting the cipher text as as this u q x t q u y f n r so this is how the vernum cipher is being used so these are the four uh, different method which is uh, which is the part of the which is the part of the transposition method first one is the rail fence method in which we are writing the total text. We are writing the total text in the form of a uh, random uh, diagonally and then reading it by row by row. 
second one is simple columnar technique in which we are writing the correct uh, alphabets in the form of a row and then with the random order we are collecting it in the form of a column and then in the multiple rounds we used to use, to use many rounds uh, depending upon the requirement 2, 3, 4 whatever it may be and the fourth one is the Vernon cipher in which uh, we will be using one time pad to and then the uh, individual alphabets has been converted into its decimal value and after uh, one time pad value is being added so and if it is more than 26 we will subtract it by 26 and then we will be getting the resultant ciphertext that is all